I think it's working. I think it's working again. <sighs> you are like clockwork, sir. You must have notifications. <laughs> well, fortunately, I was on. I was never handed at any point. Oh man, there's a Chipotle that has their soda dispenser right by the side door, so you can just go steal all the soda you want. Oh yeah, get a little uh, a little root beer mask. It's just great, isn't it? I love the root beer hair mask. See how things are going. Uh, soda fountains aside, it's regular fountain time. So I come to find out, come to find out it's kind of a ongoing dilemma here at the fountain. Social credit system been re the, and the the uh, social mass on band social credit system reset. Anyone? Uh, oh, there's a sleeping person here. That's cool. What happened with Toyota? Um, no, it wasn't callers actually. It was the person at the booth across from us. Thought Darren and they thought Darren was Weird Al and they thought that they were gonna get in trouble. No, um, it actually wasn't callers. I thought it might be callers, but we actually did figure out what happened. And it was uh, it was this whole thing with um, the people at Falling Prices. Uh, not Falling Prices, sorry, Daily Deals. Interesting. Hmm, it's like I was never here last night. Odd. Very odd. Anyway, the Daily Deals people uh, made were like uh, blasting their music as for violation of fair policy. We asked them, hey, you want to be chill and turn your music down as uh, in compliance with uh, Big Fresno fair policy? And then that got, uh, that got turned into a whole bunch of lies about Darren and I which then got back to our client, which got back to our boss, who didn't believe any of it. And then the fair fellow who ran the um, uh, sponsorship department came and yelled at me. But other than that, we're land golden, it would seem. Though I did find out that um, uh, well, our boss has been ripping off our client for years, uh, billing for more um, more workers than he's actually sending to events. So, you know, I guess the Toyota way would be to stop the assembly line. They were, um, uh, you know, shares in one form or another. Um, kind of answer to it, but it's a... Uh, 
Toyota with a rad interior. I'm sure. Um, we did Subaru, and there's a karaoke car at the Subaru, um, at the Subaru display. So, like, yeah, I'd be much, I'd be much better off over doing the Subaru thing, cause I know, like, I know how to karaoke. Uh, I know how to MC karaoke, like. Ah, uh, dude, it's easy. It's my favorite. I love karaoke. Like, yeah, I'd be a better fit, but whatever. Every time I feel like I'm doing a shitty job at Toyota, I just remember GR Corolla. Get your shit together. Also, not being high at work helps. I managed that once. Um, oh yeah, those are dealership people. Yeah. Those are all fucking uh, sales guys at dealerships who would like us to be fired. Because here's the thing. If you go into a fucking Toyota dealership knowing what the sticker price of a car is, because we told you, knowing how the model hierarchy works, knowing that, in fact, there is a hybrid Camry that you can get, then this dude's ability to make you buy a Rob 4 that you didn't go in there wanting is completely out the window. So they do hate us, but not for the reasons that you might think. It knocks when there's lows, when there's the low oil, or the knock yet, as in the knock on the door. What kind of knock do you mean? I was knocking like a bitch when we were driving the other day. And that's the thing, like, they don't know that shit either, and I don't know all of it, but Darren knows all of it. Knocking on the door when sleeping? No, no. <clears throat> he sleep? Hilarious. I sleep in populated areas during the day. Um, night? I got, at night, I've got uh, night vision to make, to have. Yeah, I don't pay a dime under sticker. <laughs> no. No, no cop has been bothering me. It's a public street. See me drive by. I'm really waiting for that cuck in the Beamer to come back. He's a real piece of shit. I had to tell him off the other day because he was harassing me. Fountain Proctor. Offering merits and demerits to individuals who pass by the fountain in order to establish a system of social credit. I mean, um, that's, um, what happened with that? What was going on with that? I've been vaguely in, um, been vaguely in the loop on that. I'm not really clear on what's going on with the, uh, something happened with Blade. 
if you fart real loud, everyone will get really scared and run away. So it's better not to. What? Making out like it was the 50s. Like tongue kissing like it's the 50s. That's fucking gross, but whatever. I suppose that is a, um, I, uh, like that's an intimate act among people. Uh, that's so fucking, God, mouth kissing. Ugh. God, people eat asshole with those mouths. That's so fucking gross. Uh, uh, no. Tongue kissing in the mouth like it were the 50s. Like you're going to the drive th- drive-in movies. Like, sit in the backseat of the Plymouth Savoy and kiss with tongue is like, like f- fucking, like fistful of dollars is playing at the drive-ins. You gonna go see True Grit and... You know, she, she, she says, she says, she know, she thinks that you, you know, it's okay because her mother thinks that your mother shares the chaperone, kind of like gonna go ride the old mill, kind of like tongue kissing. Oh God, no! With like all the breath on the faces together, like who does that? Blame it on the al- 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 alcohol. <laughs> no, so you get what I'm saying. Like, that's just, like, mouth kissing. Like, it's the 50s. Like, like, like those, like those Europeans in France always do with the tongues and the mouths and tongues. Oh, God, no. <sighs> I'm guessing they probably broke up a while ago. If that is in fact the case. A tincture uh, of what? Calm down, uh, what was it, a cat or a dog? Still, no, I'm back at the fountain. I'm back in, um, back in Sacramento. Got a Kings game to work tomorrow night. And then we got car moves for the next couple days, so. Yeah, just, uh, working. Got some gigs here now. Or a gig and then two car moves, so, meh. Right now, I'm waiting to go get my friggin' motor scooter out of storage, but, um... Um, oh, yeah, but being smart doesn't help you on IP2 or anywhere. Like, I can, like, honestly, I, I have concluded that I'm probably one of the smarter people generally, but I'd reject, it, like, I reject intelligence consciously. Like, I don't want to be smart. I don't like. I don't like it. It doesn't help. Being smart doesn't. Don't ever be smart. It doesn't help. You'll spend the rest of your life like fighting with yourself in your head over why you should stop being that way. So, I just like to stop being that way. Yeah, it's occurred to me that I'm smart. It occurred to me a long time ago, but I don't like it. Doesn't mean that's good. Like intelligence doesn't help. It doesn't like.
Like, yeah, I, I've... <laughs> God, I, w I wish it did. And then, and, and even that's uh, that's one of those things where, um, let's say you are a smart person who f who figured out something to apply themselves to. Dollars to donuts, you're going to find yourself frustrated because people who aren't as smart as you are going to wind up uh, being more successful doing the same thing, and it'll feel like a shitty deal because you're you're you know, i.e., uh, smarter or have better ideas or are. Uh, like you have good ideas, but you're just, it's too dense. You're too tough to listen to blah, blah, whatever. Like, yeah, being smart is not a helpful fucking trait. If I were closer to being, but that's the thing. Like I try and get myself as close to being, I did embrace a little stupidity from, for mo for the most part, I would prefer to remain being stupid You know, smart or dumb, you know, the true you applying yourself, none of that matters. You know, what are your principles? That's what matters. Like, that is awesome. That is just absolutely outstanding and phenomenal. And I love everything about this. This is super, absolutely super freaking dope. Holy, sh holy, f holy son of hula hey. Holy son of hula hey, this is an absolute masterpiece in chalk. Um, oh man, they deserve a live action scarecrow to frighten people. <laughs> ah, that's a guy in there. Uh, no, no, I'm in uh, East Sacramento. We're gonna go. We're gonna go see what's up over at uh, Reagan's old house, where rapping Ronnie Reagan used to live. Yeah, he invented um, hip hop, I think. Kinda. Those are the not. Those are the fat. Those are the um, Fugazi forties. These are the. Well, we're getting up into the Fab forties now. The forties don't get fabulous till about Forty Sixth Street. Some say Forty Seventh, but I disagree. <coughs> that those were the like. That's he said like. <laughs> And here's the thing, the Fab 40s are technically in East Sac, but that's not East Sac, East Sac. That's the Fab 40s anyway. Yeah, the faux 40s. And they're all, like, they are all absolutely hideous, neo-precious remodels done of really nice old craftsmen that just weren't good enough for the people who bought them in the early 2000s. And they all started doing these just atrocious neo-precious renovations to all of them they look like crap and like it'd be neat if they like built them into super craftsmen or anything like that but they're just fake fab 40s you know you take you take a nice little old school just like oh it's a little italy it's the old italian neighborhood and then just turn it into the fake rich block next two blocks over and just faked it all out so I'm not really pleased with where the, you know, if, if that, if this plague spreads to 51st street, you know, all is lost, but all is not lost yet. Oh, I haven't had my IQ done since I was like a little, little kid. So I don't know.
Oh, oh no. Oh my God, my dream truck. Oh, there she is. It's perfect in every way. Same color, my dream scout. There she is. I can't. This 46 before. I don't care. This is an automotive YouTube channel. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's just. <laughs> Oh my God, it, it, it's in its purest form. Oh, what a beaut. Oh, what a beaut. Farm all <laughs> mud flaps. What a beaut. I don't wanna like, oh well. Can you, you gotta forgive a guy. I'm not gonna walk on your lawn. It's a dead spot from everyone walking up to see what year scout this is. 74? Yes, sir. Woo. Um, the Bigfoot ATs, that's what. Uh. <laughs> Oh, she's just about perfect. I love it. It's not lifted up or anything nuts. Or Hold on a minute. No, no, it's not. It's very close. Whew. Ooh. Oh, yeah, and here we go. We found it. I think we found it. If it's 45th or 46th Street, we didn't... Ugh. You just look at it for. Oh, it's like tomato. It's like cream of tomato soup almost. So, so it's like almost red, but it's definitely orange. Oh, no, it's the perfect scout. International orange, I believe, is the name of the <laughs> color. <laughs> Figure that. You got the LLV. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> so this is 46th Street, it looks like. Or 5th. Yeah, yeah, this is 45th Street. Or maybe 6th. Okay, so this is 45th Street. So yeah, we're going to go find Rappin' Ronnie Reagan's house. Oh yeah, the LLV is a gorgeous truck. No, we're talking about the Scout. Um, it's just a freaking perfect job on that. <coughs> I hear, um, uh, what is it? Uh, binders or, no, I think it's one of the two. Or anything Scout, I believe, is the uh, company. Anything Scout, I think, is doing an LS kit for the for the Scout Two now. Yeah, here we go. It's easy to remember because it's a white house with a wraparound driveway. Of course, he was a filthy renter, which you know I can't imagine. People in the fabulous 40s being particularly happy to uh, have uh, Ronald Reagan live there. You know, planning out some sort of uh, new world order in a nice old house. <laughs> No one will have a house like these. These are unobtainable to even the hardest working people. This is old money here, guys. And I might not have a house like these, but I do have a van in the same neighborhood, so you know. You won't, no one will. I don't aspire to that. I've been doing some sightseeing.
And I might. You don't know. I don't aspire to that, though. I'm not, you know, I'm not doing that in an aspirational sense. That's more of a, uh... Hey, look, that's where Ronald Reagan used to live. Sort of sense. The river's not too far. I could jump in it. Uh, yes, but my heart is one, and I have principles. I'm a man of principle, if nothing else. Cool hat. That's some sun bleach there. You must have had that one a number of years. Your hat. No, it's, it's only a couple of years old. Yeah, it's about right. Some old dude, yeah, he used to do, like, he used to go like, We're in the land of plenty, and we've had plenty enough of the Beatles. No one listened to the Beatles, and then no one listened to the Beatles anymore because he invented rap. He's the guy who invented rap music, dude. How do you not know who Ronald Reagan is? He invented rap music. Yeah, but then he became a... That is a dingo. It's a real-life dingo. Yeah, real-life yard dingo. Hello, yard dingo. Dingo's got my baby. <laughs> Roy! <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> well, he was a singer, too. He went like... Hip hop, hip to the hip to the hop. Well... I could eat a baby. I think, you know, when Reagan was, when Reagan was in office, he ate babies all the time, right? He was secretary of hip hop. What, right? I don't know, man. They told me to know where it lives because there was some kind of satanic ritual someone had to do. And I had to go stop it. It's very, you know, high level demon hunting. No, not that out of shape. I just, uh, breathe hard. I don't know. I'm peak performance. I'm so tired. Oh, they wish. I had to go to work. It's the only reason I left. Yeah, if I didn't have to be in Fresno, I wouldn't have gone anywhere. I'd have just stayed at the fountain. Well, unfortunately, no. Well, I did. I did take some for for some free soda, but it wasn't really an interaction. They were just like staring at the sun or whatever the hell these surface dwellers do. Well, yeah, and that should be actually. Let's let's actually follow up this with the closed facilities around here. There was one in Fresno I would have liked to have visited, but uh, it was not uh schedulable in in the amount of time i had in town so i think we'll take a visit up to freaking nevada city soon because um i'll tell you there were some nicer houses than that that you got to live in if you were a fucking crazy person and you know, if you figure being smart doesn't help you, you might be a crazy person. 
And you then you get a nicer house than Rappin' Ronnie got. Big grass, all doctors, good drugs, cute nurse to talk to, whatever you want, really. You know, live in your own complex inner world or project it to the outer world. 